Kath. Welcome to my channel Made by Cathcraft. Thank you so much for joining me today and for my vlog talking about my June fabric haul. Um, before I get started on all my lovely fabrics, um, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who's subscribed to my channel so far. And also thank you so much for all the lovely comments. Um, I'm really um, grateful and really excited every time I receive a comment um, and I love pe hearing what people have liked, which makes they've liked or if they have any of their own plans for the patterns. Um, so please do keep commenting, I love to reply um, and I'm really grateful for that. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love to do that too so you can see my future videos all about mainly sewing really. Um, but yeah, today I'm going to be talking about June fabric plans. Um, and before I start, I'm wearing um, my Tilly and the Buttons Tabitha dress. Um, which is from the Tilly and the Buttons Make It Simple book um, and I've made two so far and they're both getting a lot of wear because it's such a relaxed, easy dress to wear and to sew. Um, it's a t-shirt dress um, and you can make this a plain t-shirt, I haven't made one of those yet, I've made just the two dresses. Um, so it's got like a plain t-shirt collar and sleeves and then it goes down into a drawstring dress which is nice and relaxed and as you can see I've added some black cord to this one. Yes, yeah, so it's really comfy wear. Um, this one's in cotton jersey, um, really easy for hanging at home. If it gets a bit cool later, I might add a pair of leggings because um, I think it looks really nice with a pair of leggings too. So I'd really recommend that make. Um, yes, yeah, so that's why I'm wearing today. Um, but let's get started on the fabrics. So um, when I've been ordering my June fabrics, um, it was really, really hot weather, really summery. So I was really thinking about what I wanted to um, make for summer, what gaps I had to fill in my wardrobe. So all the fabrics are really summery and it's not quite such nice weather at the moment, but I'm hoping that we'll have some more summer soon, so I'll get to wear all these um, makes soon once I've made them. Um, so yeah, let's start on the first fabric. And it's this beautiful cotton lawn. And, oh, I've got it upside down. And it's this beautiful cotton lawn by Atelier Brunette. And it's got this little kind of cute bird, bird print on it. And um, yeah, it's quite a lightweight cotton lawn. And I got this from Minerva, um, and um, this Atelier Brunette fabric, I love Atelier Brunette fabric, I always think it's such beautiful quality and such lovely sort of lovely kind of classic simple designs. And um, I, this fabric's been around for a while, it's called Bye Bye Birdie, and um, I think it was around even when I started sewing about 18 months ago, and I've always, um, I've always really loved it, but I wasn't sure, um, I could never think what I was going to make with it. And it comes in this navy, and I think there's a black and a, and a mustard and a, and a kind of orangey red colour, so there's some lovely colourways of this one. But yeah, I've always loved it and I wasn't quite sure what to make and then this summer I was looking through my last year's summery sewing patterns and thinking what I might like to make and what patterns I might like to revisit and add a different twist to and I thought this would be lovely as a honeycomb dress by Kokowara Crafts. So I made a sleeveless version of this last year in a slightly more, um, a slightly thicker, um, heavier weight cotton lawn um, which is kind of a bright red colour. Um, so I thought I'd, a, a more muted version might be really lovely in this lovely fabric. Um, See, so yeah, this is such a lovely pattern by Kokoara Crafts. It's the only pattern I have actually by this pattern company. And I don't know why, because there are some other lovely ones I should really explore. But what I love about this dress is all the little details. So it's got these really pretty little bow ties at the waist, which gives the dress shape. And then it's got um, a mandarin collar and buttons, and then a sort of panelled bodice. And at the back, it's got a yoke, which you make using the burrito method. So all the se um, seams get enclosed, so it's really neat. Um, and you can make a long sleeve version with a sort and bow ties at the end of the sleeves which I think it looks lovely or you can make a short sleeve version but I'm planning to do a sleeveless version for summer with this fabric um, so I'm really looking forward to making it the instructions are really great and it's a um so, so although there are quite a lot of details it, it they take the steps take you through it um in a straightforward way so it's quite a satisfying sew because you do have a few details but it's um it's done really well so um, I'm really looking forward to turning this into that it's slightly sheer but I think it should be okay for a summer dress um, and yeah, I think it'll be really pretty and I've got some um, little, I've got some buttons as well from Minerva, um, little wooden ones, which I think will go really nice with the fabric, hopefully. So I'll look forward to showing you that one once that's all sewed up. But yeah, it's lovely soft fabric. I think it'll be really lovely and lightweight with summer. What next? Uh, I'll move on to a stretch fabric this time. And um, so this fabric is, um, I'll show you, it. I really love this one. And it's a um, cotton jersey. Um, and it's got like quite large scale flowers on, little white spots on it. I think it's really pretty. And this came from Stoff and Still, um, which is, um, they have some amazing fabrics on Stoff and Still, so do check their website out. Um, I bought a couple of fabrics from them when I first started sewing and I was exploring pattern company, um, I was exploring um, fabric companies online. And I haven't bought anything since, and I don't know why. And I thought I'd revisit their website and have a look, and they've got some amazing fabrics in this year. And so this is, I was really tempted to buy a few others, but this, I was managed to restrain myself and just buy this one. 
Um, it's a lovely quality um, cotton jersey. I've sewed with their jerseys before and they're really nice, um, really nice quality, sew up really nicely. And um, I, had, I wasn't sure what to make with this one. Um, and actually the print came, it was, the flowers were a bit larger than I was expecting, which made me rethink my plans. And now I've decided what I'm going to make and I'm really looking forward to it. And I'm going to use this pattern here. And I'm going to make a Scirocco um, play suit by Deer and Doe. So I'm going to go for this version here, the short version. Again, another summary one. So um, yeah, this is a lovely pattern. Um, I think it, yeah, just, I'm sure I've said before, it looks nice on everybody, I think. I haven't, I haven't seen a scrocker, I haven't liked it really. Um, and it's a, a really surprisingly quick sew, so I'm really looking forward to this one. Um, and I think it will look really nice with this big print. I have to be a bit careful about my pattern placement to make sure I don't have any flowers um, in place that look a bit <laughs> iffy. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that one. Um, and um, so yeah, that's the plan. Um, another one for summer. What next? Oh yep, yeah, another jersey make. Um, so I was actually that the fabric I've just showed you. I was actually originally planning to make um, a dress using this pattern here, the Tilly and the Button Zadie pattern. Um, but when the fabric arrived, because the flower is so large and the Zadie is quite panelled, I thought it might spoil the effect of the flowers. So I decided on this Scrocco, and I'm really happy with that. So I um, but I also bought another fabric that I think will make a great Zadie dress. This one's another one I've actually already cut out, um, and this is the fabric here. It's really beautiful, um, another cotton jersey, really beautiful, another really lovely quality cotton jersey. And it's got kind of all these little cute flowers and other little shapes on it um, in pretty colours and pops of turquoise and yellow and a sort of soft pink. And this fabric came from Lamarzi Fabrics and, um, and I thought that would make a lovely Zadie dress. So I'll show you the pattern again. So it's a, um, I'm going to make this cap sleeve version here. Um, so it's kind of panel dress and it's got these big pockets here that kind of sit um, here and here. Um, and yeah, um, I made this dress once before when I just started sewing. And I don't know why, but it came up really big on me. Um, I use my usual size two, which I usually use for Tilly and the Buttons patterns. But I, I, was, I was quite a beginner sewer, so it was all a bit of a blur, but it really did not fit right. And I needed to take it in a lot of the sides, which kind of compromised how the panels looked. Although I still get a lot of wear out of that dress and I really love it. I'm looking forward to um, trying it again. I'm going to size down and just see how I get on and um, yeah, take it slowly and do some fitting as I go along and hopefully come up with a better fit. So yeah, this is the fabric. I think it'll be really nice. I'm not going to go for any colour blocking. I'm going to make the whole, whole dress in this fabric. Um, so I'm hoping it'll work. And um, I found from wearing my tab of the dresses, I, I really... Um, get a lot of use out of jersey dresses that you can kind of either wear with tights and a cardigan or wear with leggings or just um you know on their own so I think they'll be quite a flexible thing to have in my wardrobe so I'm really looking forward to it and I'll let you know how I get on um with the sizing and everything in my next video but I think it's such a pretty fabric I'm hoping it'll work out okay because it's lovely and vibrant so that's a Zadie dress my next fabric is not entirely seasonal and this one's not actually for me and it's this really lovely um French terry fabric um from Minerva Crafts um in this uh dark grey colour and um, I'm planning to make with this one um, something for my husband and it's the male version of this pattern here which is the Hudson Pants by True Bias. So um, he hasn't got any jogging bottoms and I thought it might be quite useful for hanging around the house because he's um, working from home at the moment um, so he doesn't need to um, wear his office wear so I thought he might appreciate them. Um, and he chose the fabric, this, this fabric, um, and it's actually really lovely um, soft, um, lovely quality French terry from Minerva. I really like it. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm planning to make. So the Hudson pants, um, I've got the men men's version as well, because they do a men's version. I think they might do a children's version as well, um, which sounds cool. But I've, I've got the PDF for the men's version, so I haven't got, I haven't got that printed out yet. Um, but this, this is what the Hudson pants look like. Um, it's quite a relaxed jogging bottom with a elasticated waist, um, a little um, feature kind of cord here, um, slash pockets and cuffs at the bottom. Um, and looking at the differences between the female and the men's pattern, I think um, it seems to me that the men's pattern has a slightly looser fit around the leg, um, whereas the female one's quite slim fit. And also I think the men's pattern, the um, cuffs at the bottom um, seem to be a little bit shorter, whereas the women's have quite a long feature cuff here. So those are the main differences I can see just from having an initial look at the pattern. Um, but I'm looking forward to sewing those up for my husband, seeing how the fit comes up. And actually this fabric is such um, lovely soft um, fabric and I was talking to my mum about my plans for it and she asked me if I could order her some too. So I've ordered um, some black at her request. So I'm going to be making her a version of the Hudson Pants too, so I'll be busy making those. Um, it is a nice pattern, it's quite a nice satisfying sew and obviously the fit's not too critical um, because it is supposed to be loose and comfy. Um, and I think this fabric will be perfect for it because it seems to have a really nice recovery. Um, 
and it's it's lovely and soft without being too heavy um so yeah that, i'm look, looking forward to that one it is nice to be able to save other people um particularly my mum because she's quite tall with quite long legs so she does struggle sometimes in the shops to get trousers that fit her right around the legs so um it'll be nice to be able to make those for her too well i'm not sure how we'll work the fitting with the lockdown but i'm sure we can uh, figure it out somehow um so yeah that's that's another of my plans not exactly seasonal but that hopefully they'll be good staple garments for um, both my husband and my mum and the next one's one for me and it's a um and it's a new pattern um for me as well as a new fabric and i'll show you the pattern you might recognize this one it's the uh, one of tilly and the buttons new patterns it's the alexa play suit and jumpsuit um so i've seen some lovely versions of this um and i'm not usually a jumpsuit um or play suit person um i don't know why really um but I do find them quite practical, particularly for being around kids, um, and um, so I'm looking forward to having given this one a go, and I'm hoping it'll work out nicely. As I said, I've seen some lovely versions, so I'm think fingers crossed. Um, so you can make a, a um, jumpsuit version with some sort of utility pockets, or you can make a play suit, and that's what I'm going for. Um, and um, yeah, it's got a kind of tie waist, so it adds a nice shape. And I like the shape of the neckline, it's kind of like a gentle kind of curved V, and um, I'm just looking forward to giving it a try and um, seeing how it turns out and I've got this fabric here for it and it's a um it's really lovely actually it's, it's um you can see the kind of the grain or the sort of detail in it and this is a um linen look viscose in navy and it's from first for fabrics um so it's really reasonably priced so I thought it would kind of be good as a sort of wearable toile for the Alexa to see how I get on with the fitting um and um, it's lovely it, yes it's got the detail that like might you might look see in the linen kind of this sort of grain um but yeah it's lovely and loose and flowy um and yeah really nice quality actually i was really 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 um, impressed when this arrived so i'm really looking for you know, this sort, of, sort of swishiness of it so i'm hoping that'll be really nice for the alexa and i'll give it a nice drape and make it nice and light and loose um for summer so I'm, i'll let you know how i get on with that one because I, I do love a new tilly pattern um and yeah i'm, I'm really looking forward to trying something different and um, it's actually the Sewing Weekender this weekend, um, being run by the Fold Line and English Girl at Home, and I'll put the details below. So um, I'm, I'll probably be dipping in and out. It's an online version this year of the Sewing Weekender, um, and they run lots of different workshops, and I've, I've never attended before. I've always been a bit, um, I was a bit shy last year to go along to the actual real life version, but the online version is perfect. Um, so I'm, I think I'll probably be dipping in and out because of um, family um, bit, bits and bobs, but I'm hoping I might start sewing the Alexa this weekend. So I'll be able to show you that hopefully later this month. Um, so that'll be a fun one to have a go of. And that brings me to my final fabric and it's another summery one and quite a bright one this time. And it's this fabric here. So yeah, it's quite bright. It's kind of um, a sort of um, quite a bright red colour I guess. It looks a bit orangey on the screen but it's not that orangey in real life. And this one is a um, linen viscose blend um, from, from um, Lamazi Fabrics. Um, and I bought that along with the um, the cute blue jersey that I'm making my Zadie dress with. So that was an exciting order when that arrived, really bright one. Um, so I, I've, I've used a couple of linen viscose blends before and I love the combination because I think the viscose adds a bit of lightness and floatiness but the linen makes it a bit more structured and, and, and really lovely to sew with. And um, yeah, I, I really like the colour. Of this one um i do like some red so i'm looking forward to having a go of this pattern here and um, it's hard to see on the screen it's the mega nielsen flint um pattern and i'll show you the back there's two options you can make a oh gosh what's it there, there we are you can make a wide leg trouser or a short with either a button or a tie and i've made one version four and i'm making the same version again and it's this um shorts version with a tie um i do really like the idea of a button version with a visible button but i wasn't sure i'd be able to find a um button that matches this fabric or that works sort of with this fabric um with the lockdown and not be able to visit some of my local haberdashery shop so um, i'm going to go for the tie version which hopefully will still look, look nice um and i'm really looking forward to that because i've got a lot of wear out of my first pair of flint shorts and they're really comfy and they're in a linen viscose blend too with a similar weight of this one um and it's just a really nice pattern um and it came together surprisingly quickly so that's another one i might um have a go of this weekend while I'm, I'm watching the same weekender i'm not sure which one to go for um but yeah i'm really looking forward to that one so that's my last fabric for this month um 
So the only other thing I've been working on over the last um, couple of weeks, which is a very slow project, is actually a knitting project, and it's the um, a downtown cardigan by All About Amy. Um, I don't think I'll have it finished by the end of June, but hopefully um, after a couple more months this summer I'll have that finished and be able to show you that too. Um, it's my first time knitting um, something for myself. I've done quite a lot of um, knitting for my daughter and, and for doll's clothes, which obviously are a lot quicker, so this is a bit of a slower knit, um, but I'm really enjoying that one um, as well. So um, I've been doing a little bit of that in the evenings as well as the sewing. Um, so that's what I'm, I'm up to. Um, so thanks so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed looking at my fabrics. Um, I think my next vlog will probably be um, talking about what I've actually made in June, so hopefully I'll get a decent amount of done to show you, and um, hopefully I'll we'll have some more sunny weather so I can actually start wearing all these garments. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, um, I'd love it if you could um, like the um, vlog if you've enjoyed it, and if you have any comments I'd love to hear from you, if you haven't subscribed please do, um, and yeah, hopefully see you again soon, have a great day, and thanks again for watching, bye bye!